Hi, I'm Josh from Restoration Design. I'm here to talk to you about some of the questions we get at the shop in regards to what type of steel we use and why we don't paint it and why it's better than other steels like galvanized and mild steel. We use a type of here, steel here called galvanile, which is used in a lot of different industries, including steel roofing, duct work, electrical components, and probably the biggest one is the automotive industry. We actually get our steel from the steel mills that supply Honda, Toyota, Ford, and all those big companies. The differences between galvanile, mild steel, and galvanile is mild steel is used in a lot of restoration shops because it's cheaper and of its great welding attributes. There's similarities between galvanile and galvanized and the fact that when they, when they are made, they go into a hot zinc bath that is heated to 850 degrees Fahrenheit, which provides a coating of zinc which separates the bare steel from the elements. Galvanile steel then takes it one step further and after it is put in that zinc bath, it is then put into a furnace and heated up to about 1,050 degrees Fahrenheit. This causes the iron to mix more with the zinc and produces better corrosion resistance. This process gives the galvanile a fine gray finish, which is different from mild steel and galvanile's, which is more of a shiny, reflective surface. The main difference between galvanized and galvanile is that galvanized will flake off its coating when it's hammered welded, stamped, and galvanile will not. When galvanile is exposed to water, it will only produce like a fine white discoloration, but it will not rust. By using galvanile steel, you can install your panel and not have to worry about it rusting. You know, if you buy a panel one day and you don't use it for a month, two months, even a year, you don't have to worry about it sitting on your shelf at home or in the shop. It won't rust, you can leave it there, it'll be fine. Typical weekend warriors don't work on their car eight to 12 hours a day. You know, they'll put in a panel and let it sit for months, even years, and nobody wants to come back to their shop and come in and see the panel that they installed is rusty. Then they have to strip their panel and start over from scratch. Here we have a 356 BT5, which was blasted around six months ago, and several of our panels were put in, like the front of the rear fender, the door, the bottom five inch door skin, and the outer rocker panel. So then it sat for six, six months, and as you can see, all the mild steel that was used in the, in the 60s when they didn't have the galvanile, it's all started to rust. Even from people's hit fingerprints, you know, you can see that just from your oil, the oil and dirt from your skin will cause rust issues. Whereas the galvanile, you know, it doesn't have a speck of rust on it. And this car, like I said, has been sitting for six months. So I'm just gonna show you the differences between the mild and galvanized steel compared to the galvanile steel, which we have here. So when you buy your milder galvanized steel, you'll notice that it has a shiny reflective surface, and that's the zinc coating that is on top of the steel. Whereas the galvanile, after it has got its zinc coating, is then put into the kiln, or not the kiln, the furnace, and it will go to the 1,050 degrees Fahrenheit and it will come out in this nice, fine, gray matte finish. And the best part about this is we don't, have to, we don't have to paint it, so it saves us time and money, and it also saves you, as a buyer, money and time as well, because you won't have to grind up all the paint and repaint it after you're done welding. When some guys use mild steel, they like to spray it with some sort of oil, like WD-40, the problem with that is if you don't clean all the silicone off and you paint it, it will bubble up through your substrate and fisheye. And then you'll have to strip your, the entire panel that you just installed, re-clean it and repaint it. Galvanile is the obvious choice for your Porsche replacement panels because one, it has superior rust protection. Two, it doesn't oxidize when you weld it. Three, when you're hamming or working with it, it won't cause rust issues, and four, very little prep work is needed before paint. Thank you for joining us here at Restoration Design for another one of our videos. Come back anytime to watch one of our installation videos or one of our upcoming restorations like the ST that's gonna be going on in the next couple months.